Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari and today I have a thrift haul for you guys. This is from two different stores on the same exact day. These stores were running a 50% off promotion so as usual I went a little crazy. My average cost of goods was $3.30 per piece which I'm really happy with. Um, I am definitely a seller that will sell just about anything like even um, my dad and I went to the Rangers game and we got a bobblehead there and it was like a free promotional item and I had no idea who the bobblehead was even for he didn't either and I listed that on eBay and sold it that's just how I am um, so I will sell anything if there's profit profit to be made I pick it up so you will see a lot of bread and butter pieces in here as well as some higher end pieces and then on a personal front, I found one of my favorite personal thrift items ever. And it was a dog sweater, brand new with tags. And it was only $1.50 and I put my sweet little chihuahua peanut in it and he looked adorable, but he hated it. He was walking around like so embarrassed the hour that we had him in it. Like he almost seemed like he's very energetic. He's about to be two, so he's still pretty much a puppy. And in this sweater, he just seemed embarrassed. His ears were down. Um, we kept telling him, like, he looks so handsome, you know, reassuring him. But he wasn't feeling himself in it. So unfortunately, you know, kids, they can be a little ungrateful sometimes. I get it. We took him out of the sweater. We then put the sweater on my sweet little Yorkie, Bella, and she was living her best life in the sweater. I'll pop some photos up. And... One of my personal favorite thrift finds, Bella is so cozy, she doesn't have the best fur, and she's loving it. Alright, now let's get to the pieces that I bought to resell. Some of this has been listed, most of it has not been listed, so if I do spot any flaws, I will always be transparent with you guys and let you guys know as we go through this. Alright, getting started. So first up we have a men's piece. This is just Brooks Brothers. And this is in a size medium. Brooks Brothers is a brand that resells in that like bread and butter range. So anywhere from like $15 to $30 depending on the piece. Some of the blazers can do a little bit better. This is extra fine merino wool. And it's a really well made piece. Just a nice basic for a guy. Then we have a brand that I've never sourced before. I've heard of it and it is high end. There is some damage on here though. The brand is called Sachin and Bachi, Bobby. I'm not sure. I think it's been sold at Anthropology before, but this is a lamb leather jacket. It's super soft, but with that said, there is some wear on the leather. If you guys can see, there's like one spot on here that was pretty noticeable. And I did of course disclose that. Always disclose your flaws and be honest. But um, right here where there's the fabric pieces, there's quite a bit of peeling on that. So I priced conservative, conservatively at like $45. But had that been in better shape, that could have gone for like $75 plus. And then we have an Athleta piece. I love selling Athleta and it doesn't matter to me like which Athleta tag this is. For instance, this is the really old Athleta tag that like peels up. Um, this is in a size small and it's just a long line like charcoal, cardigan. This is an easy $25. Then we have a Zara sweater. This is a really pretty blue color. It's super soft. This is a size medium. It's probably going to be like a little cropped, not super, probably like right where your um, waist and your jeans hit depending on what type of jeans you wear. Then we have a Zara girls piece. This is new with tags and it's so cute. Like I want this in my size. It says that it is a size seven and look how adorable the sleeves are. I love that little eyelet detail. That'll again probably be like 15 to $25. Another new with tag item, this is Urban Outfitters. When I saw it though, I thought for sure it was free people because it definitely gives like free people slip dress vibes, like intimately free people, but it's really adorable. Just a nice, very mini dress. Um, this is in a size small. And I started this, I think at like 35. Urban Outfitters is very hit or miss for me. Definitely out of the um, trifecta of anthropology, free people, and urban outfitters. It, for me, goes anthropology, free people, and then like a big jump all the way, big drop, I should say. Big drop all the way down to urban outfitters. 
that's just my personal experience. I know some people have some pretty good luck with Urban. Then we have a Free People piece. This is the We The Free sub brand. This is in a size small and it's this like rust colored cowl neck. I've sold variations of the sweater quite often. This one has a little split back if you guys can see that. So that's like a quick 20 to $25. Another new tag piece. This one is from Nordstrom. And this is Betsy Johnson in a size 4. And it's a classic little black dress. I love the neckline on this. How it's like a, a straight line but it curves down. So it's almost a square but it's like not straight. So it can't be a square. But the lines on this I think would look really flattering on a lot of different body types. And it's like a midi length I would say. So... I'm not sure how this will do. Betsy Johnson's kind of known for her more like cutesy extremist prints and this is very subdued. So I'm not sure but I have a good feeling about it. And then we have Cabby. I believe this is called the Picnic Cardigan. This is in a size small. And it's just a striped cardigan but on one sleeve it's got like this blue patch. And it's also got like a new regular pocket on that on another, the other side. So kind of some interesting details there. It's a little Where's Waldo for me personally, but hey, to each their own. And my tip when it comes to cabbie is I do always look up what the piece is called by googling that little style number that's inside on the interior tag. Like you guys can see this one says it's 5446. So I always put that into Poshmark to see what the name is called. And then instead of using the stock photo, I do use my own photo to just kind of make it stand out amongst the other listings. Another Athleta piece. This one again is an older tag. This one's in a size small and it's a v-neck. And it's like this really lightweight material. Savannah Jane's up next. Savannah Jane is one of my favorite bread and butter pieces. This is in a size large. They're known for like their bikinian pieces and this one's really cute with the little embroidery at the top and then it just goes out into stripes. Just a nice basic shift dress. I love little dresses like this that you don't really have to think about. You just pull them on and you don't have to think about like how you're looking that day That's or like how to accessorize it. That's one of those you pull on and you go. Then we have standard James Purse. He does vanity sizing so it says it's a size 1 which is actually going to be a size small. And basically what James Purse is known for is minimalistic, really closet basic pieces. So you'll find a lot of tops that look very similar to this. And they'll sell anywhere from like 15 to 35, just depending on how sought out it is. That's one of those brands that does um, extraordinarily well on eBay. Bowden, this is the newer tag Bowden with the pink dot. This is a size four and it is a an orange and blue floral printed blouse. Easy $15 to $25 on that. Then we have a Harry Potter shirt I could not resist. It's Snape's Patronus and it says always. And this is box lunch in Harry Potter. I think this is sold at like Hot Topic or something. This is in a size small. Now, I do have a Harry Potter confession for you guys. So you guys may have noticed in some of my other videos, I do wear a lot of Harry Potter gear. Some, um, you know, nice little graphic Harry Potter tees. I even have a wonderful Ravenclaw, um, like, pullover sweatshirt because I am absolutely a Ravenclaw. But as much as I love to read, and I've loved to read my entire life since I was six years old in first grade, I did not read the entire Harry Potter series until I was, like, 22. I don't know why I'm not much for like fantasy I'm more like realistic fiction historical fiction like drama I love drama um just in books not in real life and I was so adverse to reading Harry Potter I think I read the first four whenever I was a kid and then I just never finished the series but when Cursed Child was about to come out I was like okay I'm gonna see what this hype is all about because I didn't even see all the movies and no regrets it lived up to the hype I I think I'm going to reread Harry Potter this summer. Are you guys Harry Potter fans? If so, what's your house? Comment down below. Are you Ravenclaw? Are you like me? Alright, moving on. We have an anthropology piece. This is 1 September. It's 
kind of an older anthropology brand. This is in a size small, but this is a really cute blouse. It's got this really, really pretty embroidery on the top, and then it goes out into more of like a jersey fabric. So that's like a great workwear blouse. Then we have Bowden Girls. The size has been cut out of this, but I would say like a 4 or a 5 girls. Just a nice little basic. If you can find a like cuter, more substantial um, mini Bowden piece, you're going to get way more money than I'm going to get for that. We have a Torrid cardigan, and I do already have this listed, and it's already got like 3 likes. This is a size 3X, and these long line cardigans by Torrid always sell really quickly for me. So super long, it's going to be like a duster length, and I love, love, love this like olive hunter green color. And then we have a newer Athleta piece, and I will show you how I know it's newer. So if you look on the tag, it actually says the style name, so that's an indication that this is newer. So this is in a size small, this is the wind down sleep robe. And I think Athleta's like lounge um, line is like a newer to them thing. This is super long. It's got like a tie at the waist. Just a classic black robe. And I did price this kind of high since it is a newer piece. And it's already received, I want to say, three or four likes. And I think I have it priced at $45. So I'm feeling optimistic. This next piece is one that just kind of like spoke to me style-wise. This is Rachel Zoe. And it reminds me so much of a Farm Rio print. It's got phoenixes on there, it's got metallic threading, and kind of these like bigger dramatic sleeves. So I think it's really cute. It's in a size small. And I don't typically pick up Rachel's though, but I don't know. I think it's super, super cute. Then we have a The Mountain shirt. So this brand is known for their graphic tees. So it's in a size small and it's a Yukon shirt, so University of Connecticut. It's a really cool graphic. Tie-dye. Another graphic tee. This one's a band tee. This is Billie Eilish. And whenever I was listing this, Poshmark recommended that I price this at like 45 to 65 is what it says comps were. So then I like... Well, that's like whenever you're like listing, not when you're actually looking up comps, you know, like whenever you go to put the price in. And I was like, that can't be right. So I saved it as a draft and then I went and I looked up comps and this exact t-shirt, it's a world tour one um, from 2019. Yeah, 2019. Um, it's only going for like 20 to $25. But if you can find a Billie Eilish hoodie, it seemed like, yeah, like 45 to $65. So... Definitely never pass on band um, merchandise because it's really expensive. So a lot of people, even though they did go to the concert, they will look it up later. That way they're not having to pay these outrageous prices for the um, for the merchandise. Or sometimes the merchandise is rare and it sells out really quickly. Alright, another band tee, but this one is just sold at Hot Topic. It is brand new with tags and it's Fallout Boy ties at the bottom and this is in a size medium one of my favorite things to do when i was a teenager before i could drive is my mom would drop me off at the mall with my friends and we would go to hot topic and just look at all of the different band tees and kind of see like the disney shirts so that brings back a lot of memories for me this is a size small madewell texture and thread square neckline tank so probably like 15 on that. Then we have Jay McLaughlin. This is in a size small. This brand does really well on eBay. It's kind of like soccer mom clothing is like how I think of it. Definitely for like a more mature audience, like workwear. Then we have a Rails button down. This one's in a size extra small. And this again will probably be like $25. It's different though than the ones I normally find. Normally I just find plaid ones. So this one being a stripe. A little bit different. Then we have a hat. I don't typically um, sell a lot of hats. But this one is new with like the little tag right there. This is a Disney Cruise member hat. And I really like the color. The inside is cute with the little clouds. 
I am not at all a Disney adult, so I don't personally get the hype, but I know that there's a lot of Disney people out there. Um, I don't buy all Disney merchandise, but if it says Disney Parks or Disney Cruise, something that seems like it's a little bit more rare to get than just things sold at like the Disney store, I'm definitely going to get it. So, little hat. We have another new a tag piece. This one is in a size small. It is Free People. And it's just kind of like a basic white blouse. It's got those little mesh inserts. Just a nice layering piece, really. And then we have Aster the label. I'm pretty picky with this brand, but I thought this was cute. This is in a size large. And it's just a ribbed sweater. It's got like a little bit of a poof sleeve. And then the back has this really cool cutout. Moving on to our second bag, we have another Torrid piece. This one is in the Super Soft line, which does pretty well. This is in a size 2X. It's got a little keyhole detail and then a little bit of ruffle on the shoulder. So great purple color. It's like that royal purple. And then I know I said I'm done with Fabletics, but this one still has the rip tag and it is a size 1X, which is a great size. Camo, camo does fairly well for me. And these are just a pair of biker shorts. Again, probably like 15 to $25, but I think that they'll sell pretty quickly given the size. We have Vince. This is in a size extra small and it's just like a very light purple, lilac-y, fuzzy sweater. Anthropology Postmark. This is in a size medium. This is one of Anthropology's older lines, but I thought this was really cute. I loved the little buttons right there. Just a little added extra. And stripes are always on trend. I think that if it was like a chilly night, this would be great for the 4th of July or Memorial Day. And it's not like super heavy by any means. I'm the type of person that gets cold everywhere I go, so. That'd be perfect for me. This is Billabong size medium. I am pretty picky with Billabong, but it does have a really good sell through rate for me. This is a hoodie. It's kind of like a washed out red. There's a little string on there. Um, and it's got this tie neck detail. So that'd be perfect to throw on whenever it's like cold during the summer nights. Madewell size small, just a cute, black floral v-neck blouse. It ties at the side. We have a men's blazer. I'm trying guys. I'm trying to learn more about men's, but I just think it's so boring. This is Banana Republic Factory. I can tell it's factory due to the little dots down there, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. This is a 38 short and just a classic blazer. Blazers do pretty well. Um, I do measure them the same as I measure like basic women's tops. I just add the measurement of the sleeve length and the shoulders because that is a commonly asked question. Then we have a pair of Patagonia. These are like a base layer. These are in a size, I do not know. These are in a size small, they're the Capeline. Oh, sorry, size extra small and they're a Capeline base layer. You can get about $15 for these. And normally, at least in my experience, the thrift store doesn't price them up because they're not really expecting to see that as being Patagonia. This is Under Armour, size extra small, and it is a little golf skirt, or really a skirt, the shorts underneath. And any brand that has like brand recognition like Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, etc., I will pick up the tennis and the golf skirt, especially because that's on trend right now that we're coming into that season. Then talking about seasonality, I got a pair of men's swim trunks. These are vineyard vines. They're in a size large. I don't know what to expect. Probably like 15 to 25 for these. I've actually had pretty decent success selling men's swim trunks before. I was telling my stepdad because he gave me a bunch of his clothing to sell. And I was telling him that I almost prefer selling men's clothes because, at least in my experience, they do they don't want to haggle as much, so they send like kind of more reasonable offers. Now, of course, not everyone. This is intimately free people, size small, and it's just these little top shorts. 
really cute to lounge around in. Free people movement. These are in a size extra small, just kind of like a compression legging. Free people movement is super, super hit or miss for me. Then we found a really good free people piece. This is in a size extra large, which is like so rare in free people. Normally only find like extra small or small. And this is a really adorable maxi dress. There's some like very light fading throughout, but so pretty. I don't remember the name of this off the top of my head, but I love this. Like I almost want this in my size. I have to be careful with maxi dresses though because they're normally too long for me and then I either have to get them tailored, which I never do, or I always have to make sure to wear like a wedge or a heel when I wear them and that's a lot of work. This is Lysi Lissy and this is in a size small, just a pair of camo leggings. Next up we have Sundance. This is a linen piece and it's this really wonderful blue color. It's got the pleating throughout. There is a little bit of a spot right here on the back. It's like a red spot if you guys can see that. But I don't think that's like a super deal breaker. Sundance is one of my favorite brands to sell. It's definitely bread and butter. Another Sundance piece. This one's a size medium and it's really cute with the v-neck and like the ruching. This would have been great for the holiday time. Savannah Jane again. This one is a size small got the embroidered flowers along the neckline and then out into the stripes. Another anthropology brand. This is 11-1 Tylo. This is in a size extra small and it's just a nice plaid blouse, kind of like a baby doll style. Equipment. This is in a size extra small and it is 100% silk. And just a nice animal printed blouse that used to get a lot more money than it will now. Now I could probably expect like 25 for it, but back in the day when I first started reselling in 2019, I probably could have gotten like 40 to 50. This is in a size extra small. This is Free People and it is a tunic dress. It's got the little cutouts here on the shoulders. This is definitely sold at Macy's and TJ Maxx, so I'm not going to expect much for it. I thought these were really cute. This is a pair of Nike leggings. These are in a size small, and they're so cute with the little spring florals. Perfect for the springtime that we're going into. I don't know honestly how well they do because I know a lot of people when they get their leggings, they like to get like very solid leggings, but I just thought those were really adorable. Then we have a Revolve brand. This is called Varley. I've not had the best luck with it and I don't think these are gonna do exceptionally well. These are in a size small. They're like marble printed. Then they have the mesh inserts right there, back to the marble and then back to the mesh. These are crop length, which is why I'm like, I don't really expect anything crazy for them. But they do always sell. Another men's piece, this is Bugatti. This is a neck size 16 and a half, just a classic white shirt. I'm kind of like experimenting with men's pieces, so I'm just getting the ones that I know to be high quality or seen others sell. This is the same Vince sweater that we saw in lilac earlier, but now it's in a cream color, size extra small, so definitely donated by the same person. I actually saw a third one of these in a like more like um, pure white, but I did leave it behind because it had a stain on it. So someone decided they didn't want any of their men's pieces. Then we have a boring Lululemon piece. These are the like little scrunch crop leggings. These don't have a size dot in them, but I'd probably say a four. There's the logo. These are only like three dollars. Like even the thrift store was like, no, those aren't worth anything. I could probably get 15 to 25 on them. Definitely an outdated style. And we have some plus size jeans. This is Eloquy. These are in a size 20. They're, they've got a little bit of distressing on them. I would say they're a straight leg. Torrid. These are a size 16. It doesn't say 
like what style they are but they came with this little scarf belt so kind of outdated it's kind of giving Hannah Montana I don't know is that in probably not and then they have these little patches on there which remind me of like pill girl jeans again I'd probably say straight leg pair of Zara denim. I do like to pick up Zara jeans if I think they're trendy. These are a size 2. They're an acid wash and then it's like a wider leg with the little cut off strings down there. So I thought that these were pretty trendy. They're definitely a high rise as well. So maybe like 25 to 35 on those. Alright, switching some things up with some shoes. So I think one of my thrift stores has like a deal to get some City Chic liquidated shoes because every time I go there I find new tag City Chic shoes. Um, this is just a pair of loafers. They're black. These are in a size 13 and the bigger sizes in City Chic, they just fly. And even though these are not patent leather, I mean they are not real leather, they're still going to do really well. I've sold um, quite a few City Chic Shoes from now, these are the Loafer Chunky Saber shoe. They're a size 44 or 13. They do exceptionally well when they're like 12 plus in sizes. I think it's just like a little bit harder to find. Then we have a pair of Vince Camuto lace-up cheetah print sandals. These are a size 7 and these do have a leather upper. Vince Camuto is definitely hit or miss for me, but I thought those were kind of cute and perfect for the season we're going into. Then I got a pair of Sanook sandals. And I don't know what size these are, to be quite honest. These are a size 7. So good size, probably like $15 on those. Another pair of City Chic's. These are just like a gold pointy toe flat. These are in a size 41. I think that's a 10. Okay, this next pair of shoes, they're funky. And I got these because funky stuff, it sells. I don't get it, but it does. So these are the brand Cape Robin. Cape Robin's kind of known for making funky shoes. I don't pick them up all the time, but these are a lot so I knew they would sell. So platform, sparkly, stripes, goodness gracious. These are a size nine, they're in great shape and I just know if someone needs these for something. Leave it down below, wrong answers only. What does someone need these for? All right, so I do need to look up comps on these shoes, but these are Brian Atwood. I know Brian Atwood is a designer. So these are in pretty good shape. These are a size six, so a little bit smaller. And they're really cute with the little studding on the wedge. Nicely made in good shape. So I will still need to do some research on those, but I'm excited to get those listed. Back to clothes, I do have some Oh wait, no, we have some shoes on top. Like I said, this is going to be a long haul. Okay, so first up in this bag, we have a pair of Jack Rogers. These are a wedge. Jack Rogers always sell for me. They vary in what they sell for, but these are really good shape. These are a size... Question mark. I'll have to find it later. Oh, these are a size 8, so a good size... Then we have a pair of Eileen Fisher sandals. Eileen shoes, um, they do normally sit for a little bit, but they will eventually sell. These are in a size seven and a half. We have a zip back. Not too bad on the soles. Some Steve Maddens. These ones are not genuine leather. These are the Righteous Boot. These are in a size eight and a half, but they're really cute. They're in great shape. These look like they've only been worn a few times in my opinion. Very on trend. Then we have a pair of Tory Burch sandals. I don't know the style, I just know they're not Millers. But they're in really good shape. They were not priced up at all, which I was really surprised about. These are in a size... 
I don't know. They say that their leather upper and, oh, they're size eight and a half. They're leather upper and lining, they're made in Brazil. So always excited to find Tory Burch shoes. Clothes, not so much, but the shoes, yeah. This is a new to me brand. This brand is called Dexter. It's a comfort brand. Comps on it were really all over the place, but these are in really good shape. Just a pair of like loafers. And these are size nine and a half. I think I said that. They're leather upper. Then we have White House Black Market. I've actually sold these before and they sold really quickly last time I had them. They're really cute. Even the cashier turned to the other cashier when I was checking out and she was like, these are the ones I was looking at. And then I felt kind of bad that I was buying them, but such is life. Um, I don't see, these are size 6, so a small size. Really cute though, little woven detail. Alright, back to clothing. Pair of jeans, these are Judy Blue jeans, they are the slim fit. These are in a size 3 or 26. Does anyone else want to say Judy Bloom instead of Judy Blue? Like, are you there? Oh uh, god, it's me, Margaret fame, the super fudge. Like, I, I don't know, I always want to say Judy Bloom, and I think I have even said it a few times in some of my videos or TikToks, but that's my instinct, it's just Judy Bloom. Another Athleta piece, this one is in a size... Oh my goodness. This one's in a size medium, and it's a roll neck, seamless top. The tops in Athleta don't really do anything crazy for me, but they will always eventually sell. Then we have an Onya piece. This one is is a brand that sold places like Revolve and Shopbop. It's like really a, a swimwear line. This one's in a size small. I think it's a men's small though. They do make men's shirts, and I can just tell by like how wide it is. I would assume this is definitely men's. Okay, this next jacket is so adorable. It's out of season, but I could not resist. This is Sundance size four. Look how cute this is. Buffalo plaid, Christmas plaid with that green in there. And then into our rib sleeves. I think there's a few minor spots on the sleeves. Oh wait, not so minor spots. So I am gonna try and stain treat that, but I couldn't resist. It's so cute. This is, um. Yeah, it's 50% wool, so really good fabric makeup. I'm going to be very delicate when I do stain treat it. I use the Grandma's Stain Removal Spray and just kind of go from there. This is a really good find. This is a Bolo brand. I don't often use that term, but anytime I found this, it's flown out of my closet. This is Arcteryx. So they're known for like active wear. Um, these are in a size women's medium. And I think they're a pair of ski pants, nylon pants of some sort. I am not an outdoorsy person, but if you ever see this little guy, that's an Arc'teryx logo. I almost didn't go through the rack of pants all the way until the end, but I, I ventured on. That was on my second store, and I was going on like five hours of thrifting, which sounds fun in theory, but you get really tired. And I'm so glad I did because those Arc'teryx pants were at the very end of the aisle. I persevered, guys. All right, now we have a Bowden piece. This is in a size large, just a basic shirt. This will only get like 15 to $25. Vineyard Vines, this is a TCU shirt, Texas Christian University. I do like to get college shirts whenever they do have like a reputable brand. Jamie Sadik, this is a size four. I think this is a golf wear brand. I just know every time I've had it, it's sold really quickly. It's my first time finding pants though by Jamie Sadik. This is Spanx size small. It's a nice little basic shirt. I don't think I've ever sold just a shirt by Spanx before. I've sold the slimming tanks a few times, but never a shirt. We have a blazer. I love selling blazers. Bonita Republic Factory. This is a woman's size four. Really nice plaid. Yeah, 
And we have a skirt. This is And Other Stories. This brand used to do really well for me, but now it tends to sit a little bit. And this is a size 2. It's like a little flounce metallic black skirt. Again, I don't know that this is the best for this season, but I could see this in the wintertime paired with some tights and a cute little sweater. Another pair of jeans, G Blues again, 7 or 28. These are in a skinny, I still pick up skinny jeans, they still sell. These are super distressed. Another men's piece, this is US Polo Association, size large. I mostly got this because I wanted it to fit my husband, but it did not. Whoever said that men's sizing is more consistent than women's, I don't think it's telling the truth. I feel like their sizing is just as inconsistent across brands as women's is. At least that's what I've noticed when picking out clothes for my husband because like some brands he's a medium, some brands he's a large, some brands... He's a 44 regular. Some brands, he's a 40. You know, I just can't keep up. This is Kors. Just a graphic shirt. I've sold Kors shirts before. They're going to get like 15 to 25, but they normally sell really quickly. Another men's piece. This is Vineyard Vines. I don't think Vineyard Vines is anything crazy, but I know some guys, like, when they find a shirt or a brand that they like, they just continue to buy it. Even if it is not on trend anyway. Okay, I was really surprised. These are cabby. These are not normal cabby styles, size large. This is a nice pair of, like, bohemian pull-on pants. These remind me of something that, like, World Market would make, but I love those. Those would be really comfortable to lounge around in. Kids piece, this is adorable. This is Janie and Jack, size four. It is so cute. It's a green quilted dress with a little pink bow in the middle, fit and flare. I don't know where she's going, but it's somewhere like mod, like a Jackie O inspired like tea party or something. The American Girl store to have um, tea with the lunch, with the dolls. Trina Turk. Size medium. I think this is silk. Fun Trina Turk pattern. What she's known for. These oversized, like psychedelic florals. Another skirt. This one is Anthropology Maeve. It's in a great size. This is a size 14. Really cute plaid. It's got little pockets on the front as well. Harley Davidson shirt. The size has been cut out of this, but probably a men's large. So the graphic on the back is really cool. It's Roswell, New Mexico. So of course, they had to put the alien in there. So I really like that graphic. Again, though, even with a cool graphic, it'll probably only get like 25. Another graphic shirt. This one is a Chicago Bull shirt. And this one is a size men's medium. I just thought the graphic looked really cool. Again, 15 to 25. Matilda Jane, this is a size extra small. It's a cute little tunic. Sometimes whenever they do like the two prints, I feel like they don't match at all, but this one doesn't bug me as much. It doesn't super match. I like the little bottom floral much better than the top but it's not so off that I'm like what in the world were they thinking? This is Pam and Gella. This is a higher end brand. It's been hit or miss for me before in the past though. Size small, just a nice little pair of activewear shorts or lounge shorts. Probably more lounge shorts because these are not lined. Athleta, size small. Super bright, traffic cone orange tank. This is Jay McLaughlin, soccer mom again. Size medium. It's a nice black blouse. 
good closet staple. Another Janie and Jack piece. I think little girls clothing is just adorable. Like it's to die for. Size 4. Just wear that to, you know, Easter Sunday service. How cute. Ugh. Anthropology Diletta. This is definitely an old piece. Size extra small. I actually used to own this sh shirt back in the day. It was one of those shirts that since it's a neutral you could just like pull on without really thinking about it. Paisley. This is Torrid Active size 2. Their active wear stuff normally does pretty well for me and it's like little stars. Now full transparency and nothing about this shirt feels like an active wear shirt. It just feels like a regular one. Like it feels like it'd be like cotton. I know it's not. Oh it is 51% cotton. So I don't know, I wouldn't personally want to work out in a cotton shirt, but to each their own. Madewell, this is a size medium, can be worn on or off the shoulder, cute little bohemian shirt, that'll probably sell in a bundle. Levi shorts, these are size 24, wow, how did I miss this? Well, they're staining on the back, so again, I'll have to stain treat that, but I really don't know how I missed all of that. Come on. Again, I think those are at the second store, and I was running out of steam. Sundry. This is sometimes sold at Anthropology size 2, which is vanity sizing. I believe that's a medium. It's got like a little rainbow stripe on the side, but otherwise, it's just a navy blue pullover. This is an exciting find. I found this brand a few times and it always does well. I do have to sit on it occasionally. This is a size medium double D ranch. Super expensive like western wear. It's got shoulder pads in there. Definitely like um, western colors. So we'll see how this does. Hopefully like 40 plus. Okay, a Sublime tee. Every time I find one of these, it sells in a bundle, I swear. This one's in a size small. There is like a really small pinhole in there from the tag gun, but otherwise the graphic's in pretty good shape. Kate Spade Little Girls. This is a size 10 youth. There is some like really light peeling on there, but otherwise pretty cute with a little bow detail. Guns and Roses. This is a size large. Then we have Def Leopard, size 2XL, but it seems pretty small in my opinion, so it may have shrunk in. Okay, this is my first time finding this brand. I've heard about it from Becky Park. It's called Jaded Gypsy. And she says it does really well. I'm not seeing the size on it. Let me look in the materials. See if we can find. Okay, so a lot of times with higher end lines, they will put the size in the material tag. So this is a size small, medium. And it says it's 10% silk. But it's really cute. It is velvet. Velvet always does well for me. And here's that tag again. It's very unassuming. It just kind of looks like something that you would buy at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Lafayette 148. This is linen. This is a size medium. Just a plaid button down blouse, like orange and light blue. Linen is a fabric that everyone loves because it's breathable during the spring and summertime. Rails, size small, classic, plaid top. This is J. Crew in Liberty Fabrics. It's a collaboration. I've sold the collaboration a few times and some people can sell it for a crazy amount of money. It doesn't do much of anything for me. This is a size six. I always think they're really cute though, so I always do pick them up because they normally end up selling for like 15 to 25 at least. But I've seen some people sell them for like astronomical amounts, so best of luck to those people, I guess. This is Lauren Mochi. She's normally known for her graphic 
shirts and tanks, but this one's really subdued. This is a size small, and it's just a plain striped tank. It's got the little T back. So probably like $15 on that. Soul Cycle size extra small. I only pick these up if they're like a dollar or two. It's bright pink. I know some people have started to go back to Soul Soul Cycle. Once the pandemic hit, everyone was all about Peloton, and now I think people are craving a little bit more interaction. Not me personally. I'm super introverted. I'm like, oh, less interaction, please, thanks. Um, but I think other people are not like me, and they are craving more interaction. This is Zara, new tag, and it says it was on sale for $49.90. This is a size medium and it is just a white button down blouse. I don't think anything about it is like particularly special. There is a mark on the back. You know, whenever it is new with tags, you have to either decide to disclose the mark or you have to take off the tags and try and get it out. So I always just disclose that there's like a little mark on there. So probably only like 20 bucks on there. Anyway, this is Anthropology Maeve size 4. It's an older Maeve tag. Just kind of a classic popover blouse. It's got little like squirrels and stuff on there like look at this guy. Some woodland creatures. At the Dunkin Donuts that my husband and I go to on Saturday there's this employee there and she's like the sweetest lady. We always bring our dogs with us and so she's like, look at your little critters. And we're like, do you have any animals? And she's like, I got a squirrel. And we're like, okay. Enjoy your squirrel. To each their own, you know? Um, another Billabong shirt. This is a size extra small. Little graphic tee. And it says, let's be mermaids. This is Anthropology. This is Millet Soars. This is one of my favorite Anthropology brands to find. This is a size small. And I like finding it because normally their pieces are a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more intricate. Like this one has sequins all throughout. A lot of times they have like embroidery. They're just a little bit more formal, so you're probably going to get more money than like a maid. Crew Cuts. This is like J. Crew Kids line. This is a size 8. Really cute little ribbed top, and then it goes out into the tool skirt. Another Harley Davidson. This one's a polo. This is a size extra large. And just a nice black polo. It just, oh, it's from Tennessee. If you guys can see that patch there. Another rails. This one doesn't have the size on it, but I'd say probably like a smaller or medium. I thought this one's really cool how it's like an ombre acid wash. So a little bit different than just the plaids that we normally find. This is a little girl's dress up dress. This is Disney Store. I know I said earlier I don't like to pick up Disney Store, but the exception is the like character dresses. So this is a size 7, 8, and I think this is supposed to be an Elsa dress really adorable looks like a little ballet like tutu but super cute people will pay for these they just want their kid to be happy you know they'll wear those to like disney on ice post adorable photos of their kids in them this is anthropology of vanessa virginia this is in a size four and just a cute purple floral blouse. It's got some light pleating in the back. Another crew cuts piece. This one is in a size 8 again, so probably the same owner. And it's a cute little rainbow. It's one of those ones that you can like, you know, change the sequins. I don't like those because little kids have like no boundaries, so they'll like go up to each other and like they're just trying to swipe it, but like they're kind of like touching each other, you know, in areas, and I'm like, ooh, don't know about that design, guys. Intimately free people, this is just like a very basic 
little tank. This is something that you would obviously want to layer with or wear underneath something. This is an extra small, small skinniest straps ever. All right, last bag of clothing, and then we also have a bag of shoes, but we're in the home stretch. This is Talani, size large. I like picking up Talani. I think they make really pretty pieces. Look how nice that embroidery is. Super bohemian. Sometimes they sit, but pieces that are super, super boho like this normally sell pretty quickly. We have another pair of swim trunks. This is marine layer. These are in a size. I think it's like a 34 waist. Yeah, 34 waist. Marine layer. Some people have crazy good luck with marine layer. It does super okay for me. These do need to be washed still. This is another torrid piece. Yep, torrid size 3X. Another long line cardigan. This one's kind of like a salmon color. Really cute Bowden dress. This is a true wrap style. Size 10 regular. And as you guys can see, it is really a true wrap style. So I always do put that word true in there so people know that it's not a faux one. For some people, that really does matter because they like to be able to adjust how like tight they're tying their wrap. But this is a longer length as well. So I'm expecting it to do pretty well. Normally, Bowdoin um, longer dresses can sell like upwards of $45. This is a pair of Zara jeans. These are a size 8. And they're like super high rise, rigid denim. Again, that raw hem. A lot of denim in this bag. We have Beta Brand. These are in a 2XL, so a great size. Beta Brand has actually gone down in value for me at least, but since these are 2XL, I figured they'd do pretty well. Everlane size 4. They have a side zip closure, just a pair of black pull on dress pants. Tora jeans. These are a size 20. Again, they're slightly distressed. Oh no, those are pretty distressed. They're very distressed. And I would say that these are either a skinny or a straight leg. Leaf's Daughter, this is an anthropology brand. I don't think they make it anymore. This is a size six, just a pair of pinstripe dress pants. These like older style dress pants actually sell pretty quickly for me normally. 11Ds is another one that will sell really quickly in pants for me. This is a men's piece. This is J. Crew. I actually also bought this for my husband and it didn't fit him. Size large or 16 to 16 and a half neck. And it's really nice. It's purple. It's floral. I think it's a little bit different than just boring button downs. BDG. These are a high rise short. I love the exposed zipper on them. And they're kind of like a hot pant style. These are a size, you're going to call the Foxy. These are a size 24 waist. And he definitely would look foxy in these. They, they remind me of something that you'd see on that 70s show of Eric's sister Lori wearing. Or like the old like rollerblading. Another pair of shorts. These are Zara. Size 4. Definitely trying to stock up on shorts now that we're going into warmer weather. Although it's been like a 30 degrees here in DFW lately. And that is unacceptable for me. We have Soul Angeles and Anthropology. This is a size extra small. Just 11 piece. Trina Turk, again with those bright patterns. These are size 2. Some nice shorts. Intimately Free People. This is a size small. And... It is just like a little slip dress. It's got the little beading throughout. 
really pretty, super, super short. So definitely more of like a tunic. Pistola, this is a brand that I don't typically pick up, but I just thought these were kind of cool with like the elastic waist. These are a size extra small, but I didn't say that. Nike, size medium. And I got these because they, again, are collegiate. They are TCU, the Horn Frogs. Um, being in Dallas Fort Worth, I do find a lot of TCU apparel. We are a Baylor Bear family here. I didn't go there, but my husband did, and he is a diehard fan. So when he sees me bringing that TCU stuff, he's like, I don't know about this. And I'm like, but it's going to make us money. And he's like, just kidding. I like TCU. I don't have anything against them. Um, we have an Athleta pair of pants. These are in a size 6 tall. And these are like ones that you could get away with wearing to work. I think that's the purpose of them. They're kind of like the beta brand ones where they're going to be more comfortable dress pants. These are my size. I would keep them because you guys know I hate dress pants, but those seem like they actually would be comfortable. Free People sweater. This is in a size medium. This is like definitely like older Free People back when they were making kind of like louder prints, but I think this will do really well. Lululemon pair of shorts. These still have the rip tag in them, although it's like on its last like these are a size two, so teeny tiny, older style, but Lululemon shorts sell pretty quickly for me. They have like little stripes on the inside. Harley Davidson again, this is a size medium, and this is a cool bomber jacket. The back is plain. Harley stuff sells pretty quickly. Really Pulitzer size small shorts. Let me see what the material. These are 100% linen, so really great material. Great to wear over your bathing suit at the pool. Prana, some hiking shorts. These are size two. Hiking season is upon us as well. Another pair of Athleta. These are, these are newer because they have the style in them. These, these are the Delancey herringbone tight in a size extra small. And again, these could maybe be worn to work. I think these ones would be a little bit more suspect, but they have like that business wear pocket in the back. Then we have flax. I love selling flax. Again, great eBay brand. This is a lag and look brand. These are size small. They are 100% linen. This brand does have a following. All right, last bag of shoes and then we're gonna be done. This is a long video. I told you guys, I found some stuff. Okay, another pair of New Without Box City Chic shoes. These are some really cute, like, knockoff Valentino rock stud um, heels. These are in a size 43, so I think that's a 12 or a 13. I can't remember which way it goes. I always have to look at the chart. These are some Steve Madden, Steven by Steven Madden. And they're just like a wedge. I'm not expecting too terribly much for these. These are a size 6. You can tell they had like a sticker on them like that. So I know they're probably sold at a retail store. Like a, like a Marshalls or something. BCBG Generation. I don't really seek out this brand. But I think the style is really popular. Just like that mule. They're in really great shape. Size 6 again. So... A little bit smaller, they may take a while. Chic, again, I told you, they have some deal with my thrift store. These are in a size 41. Really nice boots. Again, man-made materials, but great shape. Some Corkies, booties. Corkies, super hit or miss for me. Normally they sit for a while, but these are a comfort shoe. These are in a size 8 good shape as well. It's supposed to be like faded there. All right, and the grand finale, the last pair of shoes, a tried and true. These are some lucky brand booties. They're a navy blue. They're in really good shape. 
These are in a size 7. That's everything. So if you stuck around, thank you. Sincerely, this is a long video. I hope you were doing something productive in the background. I hope you learned a little bit. But from the bottom of my heart, most sincerely, thank you <laughs> for watching this entire thing. If you did enjoy this content, please make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button because it lets me know that you guys do like what you're seeing here and you want to see more. If you are interested in anything, um, all of my closets are linked down below. If I don't have any of this listed yet that you're specifically looking for, leave me a comment and I will make sure to like rush and get it listed. This is part time for me so it does sometimes take me a little bit to get things going. I'm going to put my tink my tink my TikTok in the description box as well. Sincerely, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next video. Bye.